Hi, we would like to showcase a new product by a proven company that specializes in the treatment of both one-celled and multi-celled parasites. Minfin has become an award-winning go-to medication in the aquarium and koi industry for years now and has many rave reviews on their products. Now they have formulated a much needed treatment and we at Aquatic Warehouse have had the opportunity to test it out on our 200 gallon soft coral system. We have had a persistent explosion of red-brown planaria flatworms in this particular tank. Even after different product applications with flatworm exit at double dose, we found that they just didn't kill off all the planaria. So we decided to try the new Reef Safe Minfin product. Because we have a massive amount of premix water always available here, in the case that we saw any signs of stress in the test tank, we decided to forego siphoning out the flatworms prior to treatment so we could document the flatworms demise on video. Here is a warning. Always remove as many flatworms as you can see within two days before ever treating your aquarium with chemicals because they can crash a reef tank with the toxins that a large number of these pests can excrete when they die. We left a sensitive striped pipefish in the main tank and a predatorial three inch leaffish in the refugium, along with 25 assorted soft corals, six anemones, 15 large trochus snails, and an assortment of hermit crabs. The system has a massive live rock sump and the skimmer was left in operation for the much needed aeration, but turned down so it wouldn't skim. There was no chemical media. Each box of Minfin states that it will treat 110 gallons. We went with two boxes mixed appropriately for 170 gallons of water mass because of the large amount of live rock in our sump makes up the other 30 gallons. We pre-mixed the neutralizer up before we treated so we could have it ready whenever we needed it. We have four tanks that make up the system and we added equal amounts to all of the tanks. We were all quite amazed at how fast the flatworms reacted to the treatment. Within 15 seconds, we were seeing planaria falling away from the glass. Five minutes in and most of the flatworms were flailing with the current, held on with only the mucus of their attachments. Most of the corals were still extended, a few not, but no signs of stress. The pipefish and leaffish were reacting and swimming normally. After one hour, we added the part two neutralizer and then waited an additional hour. Then we did a 20% water change and added two pounds of activated carbon to the micron sock in the sump to force the water through it. Before the water change, we tested for ammonia and were surprised to find that the results were zero on a Cellifert test kit and still zero at three hours after the treatment concluded. Fast forward to the next morning and all of our tank inhabitants look healthy, all corals extended, and the snails, crabs, large brittle stars, anemones, and fish happily swimming around and no planaria to be seen anywhere. There was a complete die off of copepods, but that was expected. Again, zero ammonia. We will follow up with the second treatment after three days to eradicate any offspring or adults that may be still lurking in the live rock. Although we have yet to try this product out on SPS eating red bugs, zoanthid eating nudibranchs, and even marine velvet, there are tests being done at this time with stores and hobbyists that are having excellent results with Minfin. Casey Sparks from Alpine Koi and Reef has stated, I use the Minfin for reef in an isolation treatment application and the red bugs were falling off the tricolor villita like leaves off a tree. After five days, the coral's color is coming back and the polyps are coming back out. This looks like an excellent alternative to interceptor heartworm medication that is usually expensive and hard to get. This product is so inexpensive that it is now our coral dip that we use for all our coral livestock that comes into the store. Here are some of the key points I'll go over before the video ends. One, siphon out as many flatworms as possible to limit the toxins from the planaria. Two, have your water change water ready in case the fish or coral show signs of stress. It's better to be overly safe than sorry. Three, make up your neutralizer ahead of time. Again, use it if there's signs of stress earlier than one hour for treatment. Four, add carbon an hour after the neutralizer. Five, do a 20 to 25% water change. Note, on the second treatment, we added two green slimer acros and a red setosa monte SPS. Even though there was some mucus excreted from the slimers, there were no negative effects seen other than two anemones closed up only to reopen after two hours. Well, I'm Nikki from Aquatic Warehouse, and I hope that this new Minfin product helps you guys eradicate some of your pests from your life.
If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Got anything to tell us? Leave it in the comments. Consider subscribing if you haven't already and have a fantastic day.